We're going to take a look at footnotes and endnotes next. These are basically references that you can add to your document. Um, some people call it a bibliography, which is like a, a list of referen reference points. Um, it'll become clear as I show you how to do it. We've got the word cockermouth at the top here. And I want to tell people that I've researched cockermouth from Wikipedia. So I'm going to add a footnote to this that will appear at the bottom of the page. It's fairly simple to do. We use the insert menu, down to reference, and then footnote. And then we've got the footnotes and endnotes dialog box. We can choose whether to have footnotes or endnotes. Fairly simple. And where we want those footnotes to be, whether we want to be at the bottom of the page or simply below the text, bottom page is most usual. We could choose a numbering format, one, two, three, A, B, C, etc. And there's one or two other little uh, things there to play around with. I'm going to keep it fairly simple and just insert this footnote so you can see what happens. The document has jumped to the bottom of the page for me to type in what I want the footnote to be. So I want to type in researched at Wikipedia. Okay. Now, when I go back to the top of my document, to where I added the footnote, you can see when I hover my mouse over the word cockmouth, because I selected the word cockmouth originally, it pops up with what that um, footnote is. I double click. Oops. Actually, on the footnote itself, sorry, let me explain that one again. If I point to where the footnote actually is and double click, it jumps down to the footnote and I can make any corrections to that, which are automatically updated when I hover over. So that's a footnote. We'll insert another one to have a look. We'll insert one on Allerdale. Insert reference footnote, choose a footnote, choose your numbering format, click on insert, and then type in what you want that footnote to be. Um, a local council in Cumbria. So now we can see in our document we've got two footnotes, and they appear at the bottom of the page. To get rid of a footnote, we can simply select it and press the delete key. And automatically, the one on Allerdale has been updated to footnote number one. And if I jump down to that, missed it. You can see we've only got one footnote left. I've just undone the uh, deletion there just to show you this effect. So we've still got our two um, footnotes on uh, Cockmouth and Allerdale. If you want to convert those into endnotes, we we'll just do insert reference footnotes, and then we can select endnotes there and do convert, and it will convert all the footnotes into endnotes. If we've got endnotes, we can do the opposite, and then we can swap them as well. So I'm just going to do that, and then close, and hopefully now you'll see when I scroll down, the, end, the footnotes have disappeared from the bottom of the first page. We'll keep scrolling down, and there they are at the bottom of the second page.